To start with, we need to download Kodo. First, you need to go to fuse.microsoft.com slash Kodo. Now, click Download. You will be redirected to another page where you need to press Download again. Now click Run. To start Kodo, you go to Start, All Programs, Microsoft Research, and from there you can access Kodo Game Lab. When you start Kodo, the main menu will appear. You will have the option to resume a previous game you have been working on or to load a new game. Also, you have the option to go through help screens which will give you instructions on how to use Kodo. Of course, you can quit Kodo from here. Let's load the game. As you can see here, Kodo provides multiple lessons and samples that will help you in learning Kodo. To start a specific game, simply click on it and press play. You will enter the game in the play mode. In order to edit this game, simply press escape. Now we are able to edit this game. As you can see, this is the main toolbar which will help you in editing your game. You don't need to memorize any key or action because simply you can refer to the tips provided for you in the top corner of the window. To run a game, you can simply press the play button or escape. In this demo, we need to make Kodo reach for the castle. For now, Kodo cannot move, cannot do any action. So how can we do that? Simply press escape again to go back to the edit mode. And then we will go for the object tool. This tool allows us to add new objects and characters or edit previous ones. So we will try to edit the one we have here. Right click and then we will choose program. As you can see here, Kodo program combines of different pages, about 12 pages. Each page composed of multiple lines. In each line you have more than one tile and it's divided into two parts, the when part and the do part. In the when part you define the condition that will make the do part happen. So for example for now when it sees a castle it expresses hearts. So we want it to move toward that castle instead of expressing. So I'll simply click on the tile and to change it. So it was expressed now I'll make it move. And I want it to move toward that castle. So now click on it and then delete. So let's see what will happen now. In order to test it, again press escape or the play button. As you can see now, Kodo is moving toward that castle instead of standing still as in the previous version. As it reaches the castle, the game ends and you win. So let's try to go back to the edit. Let's say I want to close it. So before you close, you want to save your work. So we will go to the home menu and then from there you will have the option to restart your word as in play it again, go back and edit it, save it, load a different word or start a new game. Also, you can print the code for a level. That means that all of those codes, all of those lines of your program will be, will be printed. So let's say I want to exit, for example. So it will ask you, do you want to save your changes? Let's say, yes, I want to save my changes. So now you can change the name. You can change the version. 
also you can add description or change it you can add multiple tags or none when you're done click save in order to send your game and share it click on the game and then click export the, your game is now exported as a single file to this location location is go to your documents saved games and then from saved games you'll find one file called boco from boco go to player one exports and you'll find your game exported now you can email this file to mcy at ms2b.com in order to join the competition also you can email it and share it with your friends